In this video, we're going to give a quick tutorial on the VSLO system by AAMC. The VSLO is the Visiting Students Learning Opportunities Program, and this basically combines the old VSAS program, or Visiting Student Application Services, with the GHLO, or Global Health Learning Opportunities Program. What you want to do is go to the AAMC website. You can sign up for a free AAMC account and sign into VSAS here. When you're brought to the new page, make sure to go to the Find Electives tab at the top. This will bring you to the search function page. This website's been massively renovated in the past few years, and it's much nicer and easier to navigate than it once was. However, there still are a few tricks that you might want to be aware of. We see the functionality where we can search by a specific institute, specialty, country, city, etc. Let's see what some of the options are. We can also search by the duration of rotation. If we're looking for a specific date range that's available, we can also enter that here, as well as try to click ones that don't have processing fees or are free of tuition. However, these don't always work out properly. Currently, you can see that there are nearly 8,000 records that are available through VSAS's elective search. Let's see how many don't require processing fee or tuition. Now we're down to just over 3,000. That's more than half of them that require fees. The exact amount of the fee can be searched. And it seems that most of the rotations available through the VSAS system are going to cost you over $1,000. This should indicate that at $1,000, these four-week rotations are still available, making them under $250 per month. Let's click on one of the options to see what it shows. This page gives us a place to start, stating the institution, the elective information and duration, and the paperwork that will need to be signed. One really unfortunate aspect of the VSAS system is that nearly all applications must be done through an external site. And sometimes you'll show results that might not currently be available. When you click on the application, it'll bring you to your bio and other personal information, which you can submit for this rotation. Once you've filled out all of your application requirements, you can pay and submit. Now let's further explore how to find rotations and what the information displayed means. One other limitation of this search is that we do not see a cost associated with each rotation. Only by entering each individual page can we find out all of the details and required paperwork. Another potential issue you might run into is in regards to searching by specialty. If you wanted to pick a certain specialty, such as radiology, you would have to go through several different choices in order to get every subspecialty option that's available here. We can see this might take a while, especially if we're going between several different specialties. It would be nice if there's a general specialty and then a subspecialty choice after that to further limit if needed. We do also have the choice to type in a specialty if we wish. Some other video demonstrations have shown that due to the subspecialization of this filter, often you might miss rotations that you were otherwise searching for due to how it was classified in their system. From the home page, we can also see how many electives, participating host institutes, and participating home institutes are within this VSLO system. 
We hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial of the AAMC VSLO system. It's one of the easiest searchable systems at this time, but it does have some issues with its functionality. Being aware of these obstacles may make it easier for you to search in the future. For a full review of the system, please do check the article listed in the notes below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.